there's this sense about being Point Loma, and, and I've heard it described as the Point Loma way. And I think it's that commitment to be a person of real character and a person of real influence. We play a really neat role in their life. I'm not just their bio professor. We can guide them not only in their biology life, but in their Christian walk and their pursuit to be all that, that God intends for them to be. And I'm so excited to be here. I think we really stand the great opportunity to infect life with Christian witness and value and really to make a difference by the kind of people that we graduate from Point Loma. The sciences at Point Loma really are one of the exemplary programs. It is a frequent comment made to us by parents and students when they visit campus that their student often has better lab and classroom facilities in the sciences at their high school than we do here. One of the necessities for this new science facility is our capacity to attract the best and the brightest in faculty and then to bring in students who see this facility as a match to their talents and the match to their opportunities for the future. Doing really good science really matters at a Christian university because there's a misconception out there that Christians can't be intellectual, rational, good scientists, and that's absolutely not correct. The challenge or struggle between faith and science, to me, that's not really the question. They're not mutually exclusive and they're not incompatible. They exist in the same space. Both ask that people ask large questions and seek to find those answers. I think it's just very exciting to go out into the world and show that it's not a paradox to be a Christian and also be a scientist. We exist. One of the greatest challenges we face in Christian higher education today is that a private education can be almost out of reach for many students. We are believing that more and more we're going to have to be as independent as we can be financially in the support of our students and create opportunities for less reliance on government grants that are potentially being reduced so that we can more directly aid these students who want this kind of an education. I didn't actually have each night figured out where I was going to stay and so sometimes I would have to just put the driver's seat back and sleep in the car for a couple of hours, wake up and do the next day. I needed help coming into college for being able to pay for my tuition, being able to pay for my housing. We think about young people who will be going to medical school but have a call to go to the mission field and do service rather than earn strong salaries in the medical field. How do they do that if we can't mitigate the cost for them? Support makes it possible for us to literally change the lives in unexpected ways for students who had no idea they could be here. I am so thankful for the opportunities and the doors that have been opened because of Point Loma. I have grown as a academic, I've grown as an individual, I've grown spiritually, I've grown in so many ways I can't even imagine. While Point Loma has been highly successful in reaching the traditional student, Point Loma has never really ventured aggressively into the adult market. With the adult market being 80% of the total enrollments in higher education. So when I look about Extended, I'm looking at opportunities to take what we do to other regional centers or campuses and open programs that are targeted to those needs within the community. Tamika is a good example of someone who would not have had the opportunity to go to Point Loma as an undergrad, but had that opportunity to go to Point Loma because there was that opportunity in Kern County. There was not one person who didn't show compassion and show love and what I always pictured believers to do anyway. So to get it there, I, I never enjoyed school as much in my life. So when I talk about Point Loma, I 
I fell in love with that place and I still love it so much. When I think of a lifetime of return from the investment in a young man or a young woman in making their future very, very different than it would have been without Point Loma, what a great return because their life influences many, many others in the careers and communities which they choose to work and live in. I truly do get a rush when I hear how we are helping individuals to achieve their life goals. It's the kind of thing that makes me glad to get up in the morning and come to work. For me, this experience as an undergraduate um, was absolutely life-changing. I often think about just the power of this place. I was deeply shaped by my professors here. I was deeply shaped um, by the spiritual growth that I made here. I um, really consider my adult faith as having blossomed here.